Welcome to the Game Beaver, and today we're going to be looking at something that we've seen in the past. Now, there has been a resurgence in what seems to be like a dinosaur renaissance in terms of media. God, I don't know, they're always like either called dinosaur, planet, prehistoric, planet, uh, you know what I mean. Not too long ago, we've also had another dinosaur documentary airing on Channel 5 in the UK called Dinosaur with Stephen Fry. Now, Stephen Fry is a, a comedian, he's very uh, knowledgeable um, man. Uh, however, the show itself, after going off the back of some amazing dinosaur documentaries that we've had in the past, leaves a little bit to be desired, let's say. I have not seen it, but I don't need to see it because there has been countless people who have made videos on it describing all of the different facts that they've got wrong. There are no flowers. They haven't evolved yet. They muddle up how much an Allosaur weighs and then they say weighs as much as a Diplodocus. Is an Allosaurus. Weighs in at two and a half tons. Five minutes later. So Allosaurus here is 15 tons. But apparently in the most recent episodes, they've just stolen assets from Ark. Out of all things, you're doing a scientific documentary and you're stealing dinosaur oh. designs from Ark. The use of these stolen assets is a serious breach of copyright law and has understandably generated outrage in the Ark community. Arc assets were spotted in the show and Wildcard founder Jeremy Stieglitz tweeted an ironic curiosity about what else we might find in the next episodes. A stegosaur with a thagomizer with three prongs on each side and plates that run down not just the back but the side so you've got three layers of plates. Anyway, that aside, we'll ignore that. We're not here to talk about that because... A while ago, I talked about a passion project called Forgotten Bloodlines Agate, narrated by the one and only Nigel Marvin, who has been doing his best to uh, dip his toes into so many different dinosaur-related things. You had him in the Minecraft mod. Ooh. Why not take a moment to look around base camp? Oh, oh, no, Ni Nigel, I'm changing oh, the settings. Yeah, he was also narrating Prehistoric Kingdom as well. The wondrous creatures extinction left behind. I don't believe it. They actually what got Nigel Marvin. And now he is also narrating this. So he's really well and truly establishing himself, uh, taking advantage of all the nostalgia that we have, series that we've seen him in, in the uh, Walking With Dinosaur specials, the sea monsters, and of course, who can forget, like I have just now, Prehistoric Park. That was the one, I think. <laughs> so what updates have happened so far? Well, I just want to bring attention to this because I think I covered it in a video that I also covered some other dinosaur media. So maybe a lot of people aren't aware of it. And after seeing the most recent dinosaur or dinosaurs with Stephen Fry and the sort of outcry for paleontological accuracy, because a lot of these things, they take a lot of time and effort and money. That's the main thing. And Channel 5 have definitely, uh, let's say they haven't really decided to spend the money on, on the thing. I think they just paid Stephen Fry to be in it and go, ooh, look, a dinosaur. However, this is a passion project from a small uh, group of developers or animators and 3D modelers and all that jazz. And they're really taking the time that needs to be taken in order to make a very good looking and polished project. A bit like Walking With Beasts um, in that same vein, I feel, especially with the narration on top. So we're going to be taking a quick look at the uh, official Kickstarter trailer. We saw the, uh, the start of it we'll get into the whole kickstarter after i just want to enjoy this i haven't seen this let's go 20 million years ago there he is the beginning of the miocene epoch oh. although Starbucks. seemingly familiar <laughs> this is a world of wonder mystery and danger there's the deodon so splicing like real footage in with uh, cg i think this is all cg maybe the background isn't look at it it's so cute from tiny rhinos, the size of dogs, to bizarre horse-like giants with claws instead of hooves, and a pig-like behemoth with jaws that could crush bone. Oh, a world for gorgeous time, never seen by the eyes of man until now. Oh, oh, okay, animation, Mwah, beautiful. This is the incredible story of two of America's most astounding bygone beasts. Oh, oh, the drool and stuff? Oh, damn, that's so good. Step back into an ancient world, forgotten bloodlines agate, 
Is it Agat? I thought it was a gate. <laughs> Open the gate. Okay, well, can we just... That was absolutely beautiful. Like, the lighting, the animation. Um, you've got, like... This is a small team of developers. You've got drool... If we look, if you don't know, if you look at the dinosaur with Stephen Fry thing, they didn't even put shadows on the dinosaurs. Here we have freaking dynamic drool and blood hanging from the mouths of the Deodon. It is gorgeous. And these aren't just the same models as well. This is a separate model. They've slightly changed, adding scars and dramatized history here with a bad or an evil one or God knows whatever. The old male uh, protecting. Or, I don't know. But it's just like the animations are beautiful. The lighting is gorgeous gorgeous yeah these are probably just recycled walk animations but they they don't need to be anything else and even they turn the head on one of them they look so good you've got hair here as well and hair is notorious and hair is notoriously a hard thing to render especially with all the light refracting off different particles oh, that that that's me that's vlc that's not, that's not the animation but it looks so freaking good man this is gorgeous music as well is something that when it comes to, you know, um, the Walk with Dinosaurs franchise and just any kind of media as well, it's something that definitely needs a lot of thought put into it. Um, I think what they've chosen for the trailer is great. I feel like this little end bit, maybe not so much. Back into an ancient world, forgotten blood... Like that music there kind of reminds me of uh, Planet Zoo or Zoo Tycoon rather than a prehistoric thing. But I mean, again, this is just for something for the trailer and it's just while we talk about the Kickstarter that's coming up. And anyway, really what we're here for is to help these guys out because they obviously don't have the budget of, you know, a giant studio uh, company, whatever you want to call it, to render, animate and do all of this in... Get it out in something that's not going to take 20 years. And here it is, the Kickstarter. So they want a $75,000 goal. And this is going to be to fund one of the episodes. They're hoping that they can get three episodes in total. And I think the stretch goal that they say down here is if they hit $200,000 in total that have been pledged, then they will be able to make a full three episodes of a mini series and then they're going to take it to uh so it's 50 minutes per episode and they're going to try and take it to other streaming services um depending on how that goes they may even put it on youtube as well but if we have a let's have a look what would you get for your money right seven dollars get your name in the film credits fair enough i mean seven dollars when you're asking for seven thousand or seventy thousand i should say is it's, it's not much at all you've got ten dollars which allows you early access to the finished film that's pretty decent as well exclusive high res wallpapers for an extra two dollars i mean when you think about this right when you used to buy dvd of the walk with dinosaurs or anything like that any sort of dinosaur media you buy or you rent it um i mean this is the equivalent not only do you you know you get the thing but you're also getting credit in the credits which is more than you know you'd ever get with a dvd <laughs> so as you got 15 dollars early access to an original soundtrack um digital artwork book as well for 30 dollars. 35 gives you 3d files for printing so that's really interesting uh, so you get .obj files. So basically, if you have a 3D printer, or you know somebody who has a 3D printer, you can, I mean, you get the Moropus and the Deodon, which I think they actually show them here a little bit below. So if you have access to a 3D printer or know someone who does, they can print these out for you and they look magnificent. Of course, that depends on your 3D printer. Uh, there's different ones. It's not like you can get like 4K resolution printers, which will give you a very good quality. And then there's one. Either way, you can always take it to a third party website who will print that out for you. But if you don't want to even do that, um, you can get signed physical prints for $50. And then $70, you will get a 3D printed statue. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, all previous digital world. So you'll get the OBJ file and you'll also get the actual model itself for $70 uh, but you do have to pay shipping on that depending on where you are and um, there's only eight of those left so I, I think it's random which one you get whereas if you pay $140 so doubling it um, you get both of them so you get all of the rewards you get these two models the obj files you get credits and then 175 dollars you get 3d printed statues of any animal and they do have a list of different animals that appear in this show so you can ask for any of them and get access to a few blender files of our animals see how we created them and use them as you please in 3d software so you have to give credit as well um, but if you're more interested 
interested in maybe creating your own animations with them. You want the actual models themselves that are probably rigged and have their skin weights painted and everything like that, or just to see how they create it with the topology and all that jazz. That's probably more access to you. Also, if you've got a lot of money, let's be honest. 500, there's only 200 of these left. Additional animal of your choice. So you can choose an animal to be in the series. Um, it has to be within, you know, limits. I mean, it has to you know, make sense because they, obviously you can't just put a T-Rex in here because T-Rex went extinct millions of years ago. Uh, so I understand that they've added that because otherwise I can imagine some people, right? Let's get Indominus Rex in here. I mean, it'll get the clicks, <laughs> but imagine. And then the final one, at 1,000 or more dollars, you get a custom Easter egg. Include a hidden reference of your choice within the film. Key 9 viewers will spot your custom Easter egg. There's only five of these left and all previous digital rewards. So you get so much more for that. I haven't backed it just yet. I don't think I'm logged in on here. I will pledge the $1,000 because I want to put in a little Easter egg to see if any... And what's interesting, they say the film, and if it is just one episode, I'm assuming they'll just put it in that one. But if they get the whole stretch goal and make the three episode miniseries, it'll be interesting to see where they put it. I'm assuming, you know, you're backing it. Uh, they will let you know where it is if you want to know. Um, but other than that, I think that, that it, you know what, it helps out a really good cause if you have the money. Um, I, you know, there's a lot worse ways of spending a thousand dollars, let's be honest. <laughs> but, you know, funding someone's passion project, putting some dinosaur, paleo, or paleo media, megafauna media, um, out there into the world for everyone else to enjoy. If I can help to be a part of that, I think the last thing I pledged something like that to was Mesozoica. And I am very, very sorry <laughs> for all of that uh, that happened. And if I can right or wrong, I would love for this to be it. Um, one of the creators of this is Digital, or goes by Digital Duck online. Uh, they've made some mods for Jurassic World Evolution 2. They've done some beautiful animations in the past. Uh, but I just want to make a quick little video. I know it's not quick, as in it's two seconds, but there's a lot to cover here. And I feel like um, these guys deserve a lot of credit um, and a lot of screen time, as it were, for the amount of effort that they're putting into it. And after having what seems to be a golden period of dinosaur media resurgence with games, and, and then we get like Channel 5's dinosaur, and it's a bit like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> when you have the ability to, and the budget, I'm assuming, to make something like this, something as beautiful looking and as accurate looking as you know it can be. I'm not really too fussed about accuracy because things change all the time. But if you, we ha if you have the budget and you can make that, why not do it instead of nicking from ARC? That's bad. So if you want to also donate and help out the Kickstarter, I will put a link in the description down below to where you can find it. And that about wraps up the video. So if you've enjoyed it, show them your support. Maybe pledge a few dollars here and there if you have that spare. Um, it's going to go to a great cause. And I cannot wait to see the uh, finished project. Until next time, enjoy the video, leave a like, and I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye. This is Diplodocus.